Hey guys, welcome to Inflex Tech. My name is Sheena and we are here today to talk about one of the bigger rivalries going on in the social media world today. That's right, it's Meerkat vs. Periscope. Today we want to run through what they are, what the differences are, demo both for you, and at the end tell you which one we think is going to come out on top of the live streaming contest. What's the big difference between Meerkat and Periscope? Both are live streaming apps for Twitter. Meerkat is completely on its own. It's its own third party entity, while Periscope is owned by Twitter. However, Meerkat beat Periscope to the game. They made a huge splash at 2015 South by Southwest. Periscope, they've got mega giant Twitter backing them. And as a result, Twitter took away Meerkat's right to their social graph. But we're gonna take it here, we're gonna put them both to the test, and we're gonna let you know which one we think is the winner. As we used Periscope, there are a few things right off the bat that we loved immediately. It's a really clean, simple, intuitive user face I loved the nav bar at the bottom. The icons were really clear on where they lead you to. Really simple, really easy to use. It did get a little overwhelming on a busy stream. The comments did run a little high, but they were transparent, so it wasn't too overwhelming. Also, I really like when you're watching a stream on Periscope. It's not too busy aside from the hearts and the comments. Periscope has a great community to it, I felt. When we were streaming and watching other people's streams, we loved that we were interacting in real time with people in Ireland. That's all the Guinness, thank you, Guinness Ogwen. It was really cool, and that was definitely our favorite part of demoing these two, was the community, the interaction. So when we were in Meerkat, it wasn't as easy as Periscope to find live feeds. They kind of gave us five streams that they were doing, and then we couldn't find a way to find more than these five that really we weren't even interested in. We did go to the leaderboard section, tried to find some streams there. We found a few people that we really like on Twitter. We clicked on theirs, and it was making us re-log into our Twitter, putting in another redundant step like that when you've already logged in. No one's gonna do it. Meerkat stream is a lot busier. You'll see the location, you'll see their name. It almost takes up the entire screen. I liked how Periscope was a little bit cleaner and it just had the comments. I did like on Meerkat though that they had a bar showing the handles and images of other people watching it. So you could get their handle. You could do that from Meerkat while Periscope didn't just lay out everybody watching. Something we noticed that both Periscope and Meerkat could work on was we had issues getting people to follow. Now that could be because our followers weren't on, we, we know it goes to our feed and lets people know that they were watching, but we weren't getting people on the app watching us. We'd like for them to clarify more how would you boost your stream. That would be a great little clarification from both Periscope and Meerkat. So who's the clear winner of the social media live streaming battle? We're gonna have to say Periscope. It's got a seamless integration with Twitter. It has a really great community and the interface was phenomenal. If we had to rate it, we're gonna have to give it four out of five bumbles. There is still room for improvement, but we gotta say this was a really cool app to play around with. This has been Sheena from Inflex Tech. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to our channel below, follow us on social, and make sure you do not miss the next episode of Inflex Tech.